If you look with Koro Koro or you don't hear me whine whine, then we say you turn that giddy bar on top of the chairman television station, Wasubia Max TV, uh, DSTV 259. And if you use that, then I just turn on small. The thing go there clear, UHF 57. We also there for Wasubia TV, Go TV channel 98, Start Time channel 195. And that one where we talk, say, hey, as everybody did like this now, uh, my TV based on channel 17. You feel they watch us. If you check your time, you go see, say, be like, say, uh, somehow. Time don't chop, enter into the main time. But now it's so technology the day. Uh, we're not going to waste time, we go just go straight into our discussion. Any need for me to introduce myself, I go do it. The man when they always they talk through on top of uh, as in the house. Now we say my brother, I won't come, you know, they talk through because I know say some people go go report. Because if you like every time we quarrel, the thing they give some of our blood. Now the reason why we day here is to go to Kodi. And we get Ogonga visitor. But before I introduce the Ogonga visitor, I go tell you, so make you check your calendar. You go see say today now April fifteenth. Some people go talk say eh, April fifteenth, eh, Monday. And what you make today special? Now go back to a day before April fourteenth. If you they read newspaper where well, where well, and they listen and watch news, you go see say plenty action happen inside Obodo, Nigeria. And you get to do with what they call the commemoration of the anniversary of the Chibok girls. That midnight, eh, if you do them fourteenth to fifteenth, early morning. These bad guys enter inside Chibok community where our children, our sisters, our daughters, the only crime when they commit, now say then go to school to go learn. They enter inside this place, come carry these girls, then go. And the midnight of April 14th, 15th, 2014. And how time flies. Now, so you both talk up. Five years down the line, we see the discourse about and the girls when we say they never come back home. Uh, with me, this uh, on top of our city hall today, when we go chuck out on top, as soon as you see on our screen, this is not the first uh, 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 pictures when we say Boko Haram Jaguda people being released after they carry the girls there. With me here today, and a person when we say, if we go by Nigerian and African culture, in they play the role of papa for one of the girls when we say they carry, and to God be the glory, they may release the girl the time when we say uh, they release some of these girls there. And he don't join us on top of us in the heart several years ago. Based on say we they talk, say now only we they talk through. We know they forget. We don't bring and come back again. And we go check how life done they since this particular time. What will be the condition of the girls when they don't come? Parents them of the ones who we say come back. How then they take the leave? The ones who we say their children never come back. How then they take the leave? How life day inside Chibo community? How we go take we do so that this particular badness it not go ever happen again for anywhere inside the Bodo Nigeria? And then inside the studio with Ogayai Buata. Welcome to Asi the Hot. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, you know, say this kind of thing. Not be waiting for tempest. say long time no see. Uh, but mm -hmm. based on say we go the discuss this matter they go. And I go tell you once again, say, welcome to Asi the Hot. God bless you. Uh, we could just go straight into our discussion. On the night of uh, 14th and 15th April uh, 2014, 276 girls when we say uh, their day school for the government secondary school for inside the town of Chibok for Boronu State. And uh, these bad guys, be enter inside there, come carry them go. Over the months when pass, 57 out of these 276 uh, they'll be managed to escape. And uh, people come, come out, come look, say, well, from all the things going on here about these girls and uh, how life take day for them. Now, what you now they see on our screen now some of the cheaper girls, uh, after they've been released them, and they carry them, go meet President Muhammad Ubuari. We day here, what would they celebrate that time? We they happy? We they thank God for that goodness. We even cut cap, give the uh, President Muhammad Ubuari, and in government, say, as he don't raise our hope like that, uh, say now 219 remain. After that, 57 then went first escape. And they can't try to do them in government. They bring them come back. All of us, they happy. And uh, what you know they see on our screen too. Now the time when we say some of these girls, then they, they reunite them with their parents. If you now see the girl, then they cry. See their papa, then they cry. A lot of people, uh, they're very emotional. See the smile when they're the face of uh, the papa of that child. So when I go see, say, uh, happiness day. Now, for January of 2000, and uh, for May 
of 2016. One of the girls on the call, Amina Ali, and then find her. Our soldier people there, when they do plenty work, and then they carry plenty work, then they go, then find her. She can't tell them that time, say, hey, these girls, then still there, oh. But say about six of them, when she fits, remember uh, those ones, they don't die. For October of 2016, in line with the talk when Brazil President Mohamed Bouhari government talk, say, they go continue. 21 of the girls, uh, they've been released them. From that October of 2016, talks still they go, enter inside January of 2017, where another 82 of the girls, uh, they've been released them. If you do plus or minus, uh, you go see, say, uh, we don't they reduce the number of the girls when they with them. For January of 20, 2018, one of the girls, uh, they rescue her. And after they do their investigation finish, uh, they show, say, this girl, oh, uh, and a cheap buck girl. If we go even fast forward, uh, where people, they look, say, okay, we get government, we come out, say, then go do this, and they do her. We can't get the Dabchi incident. <laughs> when that one happen, people can't look, say, hey, if we don't learn from the lessons of cheap buck, now Dabchi, now here we come the face again. How we go take this and say, these girls then go come back. And as it could be, based on negotiation, and all the girls then come back, and some lose their life. But now Leah Sharibu, now he see there with these bad guys, because according by the information, they say, she not great talk, say, she not do this religion again. Now this one she won't do. And we they talk, say, beyond this religion, that religion, and Dabchi, Chibok, everybody inside of Bodo, Nigeria, whether man, whether woman, whether boy, whether girl, must stay safe within the boundaries of this country and are the responsibility of government to ensure, say, everybody inside of Bodo, Nigeria, they safe. I hope, say, with this small breakdown, when I don't give, call it this final one, everybody go know, say, uh, plenty work day when we need to do for inside our country. Once again, Ogaya Ibuata, welcome to Asi the Hearts. Thank you very much for having me. Now, make I ask you, uh, it don't be five years since this certain will happen on the midnight of 14th for inside the uh, Chibok. I would like to ask you, from the time when we say Una, they wait, the promise when government promise, and when your daughter, in quotes, can't come back, when you even come here, carry a picture, show the whole world, say, those people when they talk, say this thing not be real, oh, it happened, oh, and we they happy, say, she don't come back. I would like to ask you, how life don't they since that particular time for this, your daughter, in quotes, so? Uh, my, do my daughter and uh, her colleagues, uh, you know, after the, um, the way government took uh, care of them at Abuja, I met them three times uh, and spoke with them. Thereafter, government tried and uh, bring their senses back mm. and um, sanitize them, encourage them. And um, radicalized them mm. and took, back, took them back to school at Yola. Now all of them are in that school. Mm. Even during, and every holidays, they come to us. Mm. We do holiday together. Mm. After they mark their holidays, they go back mm. to their normal school activities. Mm. Even during the uh, general election that uh, just concluded, they were with us. But their life is okay, mm. quite sure. But you know, our own mind is still out, out for th those that are still in captivity. Mm. You know, as I used to say, uh, one headache of a Chibok man affects every one of Chibok's son or daughter. We are connected one way or other. Mm. Um, because like Aisha Lawanzana is still outside there. She's my neighbor. I used mm. to say that whenever I travel to the village. So I two years, I mean five years is too much. Mm. I know some of my colleagues are late because of um, trauma, thinking, heart attack, you know, high blood pressure. When you wake up, you know, see your daughter. Mm. I used to remember when my daughter was uh, in a captivity. Mm. Every night I do, I do hold her picture. Mm. I kneel down crying. Mm. Until when she was released. I even took the picture to her mm. and showed her see what I was doing. Mm. Thank God, in her own case, she's out, out and she's working. 
but still 112 girls. It's not two girls. It's not one girl. One soul in Nigeria is a matter. So government is supposed to be accountable for every citizen of this country. So I pray government to fasten uh, in any way they want to do to bring the remaining one or two of girls and uh, Rilea Sharib and other victims. Thank you very much. Mm. Make I ask you how life don't they uh, for the people when they live inside the Chibok? The small ones when they grow up, when here say their elder sister, so some people be in go school, go carry them. And the thing encourage them to go school. School still they open for Chibok. Do you know that some of uh, our children even tell them school in Chibok area? They say no, mm. no, mm. Boko Haram. Mm. That is why. I thank uh, Lagos government to accommodate a very huge number mm. of Chibok people scattered everywhere. And you will see school drop out. Today, Boko Haram advancing daily, mm. sacking villagers, closing down, burning school down, burning the houses. Churches. Even recently. It, it last night. Last night. And last night at Kwaranglim. They were calling me, posted to me. Boko Haram advanced. Uh, that is the third time hmm. they enter Kwarangalum and burn the village. Hmm. So it's just unfortunate. Last, sometime last week, roughly 10 days ago, they burned Gatamarwa, hmm. where I was uh, a choir master of that uh, village for a good six years, where I was brought up, uh, brought up where, where I went to primary school. That village is no go area. Mm. So it's just unfortunate. Boko Haram advancing every day. Mm. I am surprised when our government, they, they are trying, they try anyway, but as they said, uh, they won the battle uh, about Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. That Boko Haram, they won, they won the battle fighting Boko Haram. Mm. But Boko Haram advancing every day. Mm. Uh, taking over villages every day. Mm. So I don't know, when, when is this one stopping? Mm. Very important question. When this one will stop? stop. Uh, not before us to discuss uh, the matter. Uh, 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 our soldier people, then they do everything when they feed do. So you see, say, uh, the people, they safe. I know, say, for you, when we say, every day, people, they call you from Chibok, uh, then they send you videos, some of the videos where you don't share with us, and now something where we say, it affects person confidence. Ah. And it go make them look, say, okay, una say una they win, una they really win. But we go move to a very important issue. The girls them will never come back. Uh, the ones when we say, then still they, when would they hope, say, this kind of thing not go happen to them again. Because after Chibok, we don't get Dapchi. Even before Dapchi, it gets some people when we say, they don't go some places, still carry people. Now, everybody know what happened for inside of Bodo, Nigeria. Uh, before the general elections for 2015, and how politicians from every side uh, using security as issue been talk about what they go do uh, for the Nigerian people. Make we take una go back to that memory, and the reason why one can una go back to that memory now, so that una go know say uh, you get one group, one joint body when they call bring back our girls. Those people oh, uh, they talk when they talk, their mouth no ever change from what they want for uh, the government when they're inside power, whether not President Mamadou Buhari or not anybody else when they're for inside the government. Now, make we talk about uh, the call to action. And I go play on one video when we say Florence or so. Somebody when we say, you to follow for the big black, our girls' uh, movement. And they take tell uh, President Mamadou Buhari say, and when we talk this thing, you've been promised or say if you enter, you go do it. We see they ask you the same question. Maybe we just refresh the memory of President Mamadou Bari, just in case he don't forget. And make him know, say, the talk when they talk that 2014, and they see the talk now, the call to action. Until our citizens understand the necessity to place the responsibility to only Place the responsibility to only always think of the victim. 
when situations arise in this country, we will injure ourselves. The victim is the first focus of the attention of every society that dignifies human life. God should make everyone. Uh, and from what should they talk, even though not be that one we, we won't give una uh, make una here because that one I say uh, for 2014 we talk say make every of these girl come house. You tell us say you go do one for us uh, for 2019. We see they tell you say make every of these girls come house. And we want make you not just tell us we won't see action. But that of the obvious question we won't see uh, and to just let everybody inside of Bodo Nigeria know say. As Nigeria did like this today, oh, uh, we the citizen, we suppose they join our mouth for this particular talk. They talk up the way the thing take be, so that government go here and then go do the right thing. Okay, yeah, make I ask you, eh, the same people they talk. Uh, we know, say, una, we una come from Chibok. And other parts of Nigeria, when they express this thing, then they talk. But una, they get the opportunity to tell the world una story, make them hear. Una if una go new story, people, then they allow una talk. You know, the point is there is, when the abduction took place, you know, mm -hmm. I was there in Chibok. Mm -hmm. So, rumors started, you know, spreading that, ah, no, those girls were, uh, were rescued. I called. Thank God that I have some uh, people that can voice out and have their contact. I said, no, 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 it's a lie. No girl is, uh, is rescued, apart from the first four that jumped out mm -hmm. by themselves when mm -hmm. the vehicle moving. So now, I said, okay, I have to call some friends of uh, Mr. Goodluck uh, cabinet that I know them. So I call them, say, see what is happening, and my daughter is there mm -hmm. among the, the um, abducted girls. So, uh, okay. I run, I said, let me leave Chibok and run, come back to, to Lagos so that I can have people voice out for Chibok people. Mm. Midnight uh, conversation going on by Nigeria Info. Mm. Somebody now spoke out that, ah, how can we be sure of this abduction? Mm. Because we haven't seen any or hear any parent. Oh, I be those girls, they're not yet parent. Mm. Now I go, go carry my phone. I call Fola. Thank God I have her number. Mm. I go, Fola. Uh, can you remember this voice? She said, yeah, I remember. I said, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that my brother would have um, uh, been hearing me now. Mm. Now, do you know that Chibok people are poor farmers? Mm. They do not get radio mm. to cry out for that, to, the world to see them mm. or to hear them. Mm. They do not get uh, TV station for mm. the world to see them. So it happened that three days ago I left Chibok. Mm. So... My daughter is among. So to tell this, my brother, say the uh, abduction took place is true, but it's just that we are voiceless. Mm. But thank God, me, I did listen to radio where well, well. I know they off my radio. That's why. And thank God, I have your contact. Thank God, I have phone and I have little change that uh, airtime to call you. Mm. That's how. It happened, and I was invited to come over to speak to the world. Mm. Thereafter, I was joined to CNN, BBC, here and there, TV Africa. They came and have me on it. Mm. So, so that, you get the opportunity to tell the whole world, yeah, the whole world, uh, your story. Now, who call you people media? Uh, I will never forget media. No. And I did not stop there. When I see BBOG, bring back our uh, girls, girls. Mm. those people, they are wonderful. Mm. They are our voice. So mm. I have to uh, recommend them for the good work, good job they are doing. When they do. Now, talking about the voice, uh, uh, we go just try to uh, balance them. Mm. We get parents uh, where we say, uh, then the reason that they see they look at me say, you get one woman uh, in Peking, never still come back. Yes. Instead, they think about them, say, well, you get hope. You get one man where we say, it won't happen for Bama. Mm. Bama, that time where we say, everybody run. Yes. Boko Haram take over. The man self too, uh, himself they talking old. Uh, we go just try see, make we now understand uh, the condition where we say the parents them day. But we now just feel the agony of these parents them. I know say sometimes when this matter happen, the first thing we supposed to come out of our mind, no, we say these people they get papa. This people hey, na lie you know happen no na politics so na this. Move first allow that our woman conscience make us think. And make we now hear this voice of uh, uh, two of the parents there. 
We are happy on the one hand, but on the other, we are sad, because when you see them and yours is not among, it is painful sometimes. At that time, they were killing men, but they spared the women. So even our wives told us to go and hide. So we ran out, and the soldiers too were unable to contain the situation. So they also took off and left Bama in the hands of Boko Haram. That is when they took my wives and daughters to the bush. Rachel, Daniel, and Bukar Lamari, uh, two of them, their parents, uh, went talk uh, from uh, Gabukar in talk. Say that time, oh, they mean they kill men. Now the women go even advise you say, run, run. And he say, when they go, come back. You know, seeing wife and the children again. And if I hear the voice of Rachel, she talk and say, somehow, you go happy for those women say they are picking, come back, oh, you where you're picking, no come back, unko. How you go take feel? Uh, we see they hopeful. Say, government go do everything when they do to you, see, say, these children then come back because the only crime I say then go school go read book. We don't go there for country where we say we say education they important. Make people learn so that they will feel contribute to say our society they better and this kind of thing and go come they happen to them. Make I ask you, uh, I, you still you know of some parents when they are picking never come back. How then they you know how their life they uh, they they seek. They still they strong. They talk. Say okay, no, we believe. How life? They, mm. Government see. Government see. They call them for phone. They send them some things. They meet them one on one. They do meeting. They call. How their life take day? Uh, like uh, what I can say. Many of us, many of the parents are late today. Some of these girls. Some of never these. Gone. Yes, yes. Don't yes. Some of these girls. Don't they never don't die. Thinking. Of my thinking, you know, if, if I could, if I, you know, when you put your, uh, your leg in their shoe, I could remember by then when my own did not re, uh, return. I couldn't eat well. Mm. I couldn't sleep. Every day thinking, crying. Mm. So, some get heart attack. Mm. So I get stroke. Mm. Even today, some of the parents get stroke. Mm. So, um, like uh, Lawanzana. Yeah, I called him yesterday. Aisha never come back. And um, on process of taking some, some of the students to Ganye, Adamawa State, mm. because of the fear. Mm. He, has, uh, he had an accident mm. and ha uh, has a um, uh, fracture mm. from the hand. He, he had a yeah, break. He had a break. He had a hey. break. Hey. So that's why he said, ah, neighbor. I couldn't call you mm. because I don't get your number again. Mm. I had an accident, I lost the phone, and all my body don't they get better small, small. That's how we did. I said, okay, I couldn't tell him, I said, okay, tomorrow. I, I called the day before yesterday, yesterday too, I called him in the, in the morning before I before the program of uh, anniversary started. Mm. I said, anything you people are doing there, I'm in Lagos now, controlling. Uh, some of our people here, and they will be part of bring back our girls because they are our boys. Mm. We tell them. I'm not sure. Mm. Because you see, government is trying. But you know, we, we have one kind of government where we know we know if you understand. Mm. If or you maybe they, they think of that uh, mess where people they talk say picking when they cry. You know, they see uh, breast so happy. Mm. Maybe that's why our government take that way. Because so if people don't talk I, about that, everyone they will they're gonna forget. Mm. That's why I say, okay, now could they follow the bring back our girls where they cry for me. Mm. And true, true. Their cry come yield out a uh, positive, uh, positive uh, result for me. Hmm. But yet, nevertheless, five years, my brother, there was a time I found myself in police den uh, when I was doing security work, when they come stiff water for somewhere. I go report them, oh. now me go report the case, oh. hmm. but you know, the way they kept me behind counter before the following day, 24 hours, my uncle called and no, 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 you carry me, come hmm. on. Because they know, because they, they tip the motor, I'm not the motor, we, I said, they don't tip motor. And true, true, that only 24 hours, the trauma, the thinking. The thing where you go the through. The thing where I go through, 24 hours, so. Report, just 24, 24 hours. 24 hours, so. The thing where I call report now, I have. Let me on the back of counter. So, so it now. It could be five years for so parents to see their children. Years for Bush. If I, when they release some of those, uh, our daughters, some lost their body, uh, body parts. Yeah. Their body parts? Yes. Some of the, the legs were, were broken, cut off. But, 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 
Yes. Where, by bomb. When they rescued them. Yes. Okay, bomb. Bomb. Some of the rescued ones, some of them lost their body parts. Okay. I saw it. This was when lose their body parts. What happened to them? As in, they bomb. put them for special hospital. Uh, government tried and, uh, you know, treated them, you know. But make there, there's, 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 there, I think there's one that... Uh, they, they gave her um, artificial limb. limb Government get then get any joint body of the parents. Say okay, well, this is an association of the parents. Then they do meeting maybe every month. Then is the e day. And that one is not uh, like that. You know, you know, as our government, I don't know. But government know they call Una for phone. Then they send somebody to come meet Una to tell Una say Mona calm down. Mona just believe. Uh, we have our representatives. Okay, like, representative uh, yeah, we have our representative. Like, when has um, this representative been see government? Uh, they are some time. They are to go uh, see government. But it's not all that... Uh, it will not be like uh, as it did be like, before. Not be, not, it's not the day genuine like that. Okay. Our people went there for us. We will open this, our telephone line. And make una call and talk with our mind as it take concern this matter. So, uh, you go good, make I talk and here and say, like we talk. When this kind of situation happen, make we put ourselves... And for the condition of these people there, I make we think about how we go take feel if this kind of thing happen to our family members. When they talk, say we need to correct our thinking for Nigeria. And I know they talk because of say Nigerians get one way of thinking. And a natural human phenomenon, meaning say, because of say you they support this, you they support that, you don't believe this, you don't believe that. Sometimes the thing they make people they form opinion, but that you know that they correct. Or you both go talk, say make they holistic and logical in our thinking. Think the thing, go front, think and come back. Think and for left, think and for right, think and for center. And most importantly, when you take decision, make sure that, that decision is an informed decision. Before we open the phone lines, uh, the demand, when we say people, the demand from government is still be the same thing. And now why we go just, uh, we go just balance this video, Gibuna. I hope say the video go balance when we put them down. Uh, Hamza to Alamin, Hamza to Alamin, a human rights activist. And we also get Dauda, Ilya. And then they talk, say, see, if government like, make them go up, make them come down, make them do this, make them do that. If government no do some important things, we go still get another of this kind of case where we say, some bad guys go come, come carry our children. What do we want? Now, question what they ask, say, what do we want? Make them tell government so that government go carry their ear here. Waiting exactly, not just the parents of these children, not just Nigerians, everybody inside this country, they expect of government, what do we want? 1,800. And uh, we get Sarah from Maiduguri. Uh, she they call us from Boronu. Where Chibok they inside? Sarah, good evening and welcome to Asi the Hot. Uh, good evening. We greet you, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Please. Uh-huh. Are they here with her? For your talk, would they hear you? Uh-huh. What did they happen for Chibok? I know they enjoy that country, I beg. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. May they try, may they try to release the rest of the children. Because as a mother, it's, not, it's very hard that you just see your child. Just somebody will just adopt your child and then just go with it. Mm. Please let them try and release the rest of them. Please let them go. Them. Please we beg of them. Mm. Let them just try and release these girls. Mm. Sarah, thank you very much for this, your contribution. Mm. Uh, thank you. Say, you were you even there inside my Duguri? But on new state, where Chibok day, where this kind of badness happened, you call us and you they join your voice to say, may government try, see, say those girls, so uh, then come back house. And we could just talk this one, like warning. <laughs> government work, no, they end, do. Nothing like, say, uh, uh, our government don't start. See their government. Now, lie, oh. Government work, they continue. If this government come, if you bridge, reach here, you go continue that bridge, oh, because that the people, now you they work for. So make everybody now, when they inside this country, get up for mind. Say, when people call you, they ask you questions. They tell you what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to call and tell us, say, hey, you're not consign us now. Now that government, now their business. Tell you, once you enter inside government, every business don't become your business. I don't know how we get another person on top of our telephone line. In case you did. Good evening and welcome to our city hall. Francis from Lagos. Yeah. My brother, good evening. We good greet evening. your God, Francis. Yes. See, I, I want to ask that man. Okay. Uh, this is um, Sambisa Forest. It's bigger than Africa or is the uh, 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 forest.
prophet were there inside the one state in in Nigeria. Why not? Why? Why every time will they talk about this Chibok girl and Sambisa forest? How that place is big? Is it bigger than Africa? Where Nigerian Nigerian soldiers, Nigerian soldiers for Nigeria now, soldiers where they Nigeria now it is it's small. It reaches like to five thousand. If it's all the whole five thousand go that surrender that Sambisa forest, they know we bring all those girls out. Mm. And they they inside bunker. Mm. I want to ask Nigeria, our, our president. Okay, Oga Francis, thank you very much for this question where you ask. Oga Francis, yeah. they say, no matter how uh, 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 Sambisa Forest take big rich, if we release our soldier them, enter inside there, and uh, say them go free all these uh, girls there. But go good, no also tell you. Uh, Oga Francis, all this kind of uh, it not be as we take team camp. Not be say, Boko Haram day here. Our soldier day here, yeah. somebody come carry with Sukondu, pee, fight come start. He go there, they call gorilla warfare. Now hit and run. And for those kind of things, you go need plenty of experience. Remy, they call us from Lagos. Remy, welcome to Asi the Hot. Asi the Hot. We greet your guy, Remy. Yeah, well, I greet you now. My, my mind no sweet at all. Hmm. I they feel sad. Hmm. It be like say human beings now. Good and foul. Game of Valley Pass. Hmm. You see, it they happen even everywhere in the world. Say that they kidnap the king, kidnap human beings. But the worst problem, you say, when they kidnap these people, government know they tell us what they they do. They feel they do something, you know, but the thing where they, they do supposed to be secret. We know they may tell us how they want to remove them exactly, but at least maybe they talk to the parents and the whole Nigeria, because not the only the parents, they affect all of us. Maybe they show us, say, then they work on them. Do they hear from anybody? The only the parents and the people where they campaign, why bring back our guests? Now they, mm. they hear from the mm. government, now secret court, we know they hear our own government. The only time they talk to us now when they need our votes. Mm. You know they hear anything that they do. So the thing they tell me, mm. they tell me. Mm. Okay, let me thank you very much for this talk. When we say you don't talk, you don't talk, say, as Nigerians, we suppose hold this matter strong. Make you no know, be saying I only do an election. But before we come back to you, Yakub, the other of our telephone line. Yakub, good evening and welcome to our city. Uh, my brother, good evening. We greet your guy, Yakub. You see, this uh, problem for Northeast, eh? You don't pass the one way person Northeast uh, understand what is going on. It is my region. Now, there I am from. I came from Adamawa. Mm. You see, this problem that is on ground will demand us not throwing blame if we want to solve them. The moment we no look this problem from waiting or you go man talk uh, a holistic point of view, we no go know waiting to happen. Because mm. let me give you an example from my area, which is Madagali, local government that every now and then mm. uh, these people will come in and then commit havoc and run away. Now, not the Boko Haram, there mm. is uh, envy, there is rivalry, there is poverty, there is illiteracy, there is negligence of government, there is connivance in the community. Mm. So it's a monster. It's a monster already. I agree with the government, say they don't tackle Boko Haram. I agree with them totally. But the Boko Haram have, uh, they don't metamorphose into another thing. Let me give a special example area called Shua. From Shua, you know, go see one police station again until you reach Michika. From Shua, you know, go see one police station again until you reach Gulak. From Gulak, you know, go see one police station again until you reach maybe Madagali. And these distances are quite far. So the police where they ground are inadequate. And this, this, this uh, is a monster. So let us all work together as a team if we want to solve this problem. But we say now government, 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 I know go believe because even me we go around country our community. I lose eight people. We wake up one morning, my uncle is just in Pekin for inside uh, well. We mm. think say you know go we know see him. He go fetch water by the time we go there we meet an inside well. Mm. Another one they can't carry him from house in date we know see him. Mm. Our I, my father got 
problem from this issue die because of the disease. From mm. other people that will come from the before they come from the mm. food, they don't. Okay, Yakub, all this talk where they talk, eh? Uh, I never really should say even one guy himself. Ah, you don't carry and go back. Eh, mm. uh, we enter inside this break. When we go this break, come back. Okay, you go just talk the matter finish for us, and then uh, we go carry work and come out inside. So you don't go anywhere. We they come back now. Still, I see the heart. <laughs> Back to us in the heart. Now, still that uh, special, uh, as we look back five years uh, to the thing when happened for the midnight of the 14th of April 2014, as it get to do with uh, the Chibo girls, girls where we say the only crime when they commit now say they go to school. Bad guys enter inside there, carry them come out. Uh, we don't see how some escape. We don't see how government do the plenty work when they fit with you see how they go take rescue the ones when we say then go rescue. Uh, if we look at the number today, uh, the number of girls who still there with Boko Haram, Jaguda people, them, the number when we say, even if now one person, you go see they bring tears come your eyes, you go they make your heart, they break. And so when they tell government, say, make them do everything when they feel do to see, say, uh, the last cheap girl, uh, when no day with her parents, she come back home. Number two, and very important, now say, those when they inside Chibok and other parts of Nigeria, then go there safe and get the confidence. Say, if we go school to go learn, or if we go somewhere to go learn handwork, nobody go come, come carry us go. Another very important one, anybody, whether Chibok, whether Lea Sharibu of Dapchi, any Nigerian, uh, not suppose they live with fear, say bad people, they cause problem. So make government do everything what they do to use. Say, this insecurity matter. When we say we they deal with inside this country, they see, say, everything kajad. And our country makes sense. Our bonga visitor. Now, yeah, he bought her. If we go by the arrangement of Nigerian culture, if we come out beating chest, say, that girl, when come house back, uh, now in Peking, we agree, say, now in Peking. Based on the way we say, we they live inside Africa. Maybe we take our last caller, Anya, before we come back and come talk about the matter. Good evening and welcome to our city hut. Haruna. Good evening. Good evening. We they hear your guy, no? We are the talk. Eyes of eyes, the division of the day. We they find, they talk, they go. I love this. The business, the story are going on. I'm happy to come for the. Ogaruno, eh, okay. We just talk your talk, finish. Uh, uh, you are talking about, you are talking about uh, civil, uh, civil boss, yeah, that in some years, in five years ago. Mm. And wish our government are not do something right to it. Is that not true? Ogaruno, uh, the way we network the day sometimes, go be like say, they take no balance. Make I come back before we come out inside studio. Uh, if you get the opportunity now to talk to government or people when they for government, uh, what will be the things where you go tell them concerning this matter? So, you know, this matter, my brother, Nigeria, how some people talk say, you know, how some in northern Nigeria, how some is general language? How some people talk say, the Sohonzuma, I can imagine. But now I mean, that's what with all the honey, now they take, uh, they, they, uh, take and do medicine. Mm. With all the honey, now they, mm. they take do medicine. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say here, but no blood, they blue. Mm. No blood, they yellow. Mm -hmm. Blood, not red. Blood, not the same. You'll be Muslim, you'll be Christian. Thank God, Chibok people, you know, you know, every get a religion uh, problem, differences. We, you can't know. That is Chibok people. Mm. We are civilized in that matter, naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but the, the past government, oh, the generals, oh, mm. as far as you are alive, you are Nigerian. Mm. It may affect you, affect your gra uh, grandchildren, great grandchildren. See what is happening at uh, Zampara. Mm. See what is happening, uh, even what happened in Lagos. See the killing what uh, happening in Lagos. See the one happening at um, uh, uh, Rivers. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we not do away with that religion, 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 Nigeria is going nowhere. Mm. Now, all the past government, they should in anything under their capability, mm. how to advise the, um, the present government, the government, where there is a government, mm. when they come together, mm. do your part. Uh, we have, we, we talk of Nigeria soldiers. Mm. We are proud of Nigeria soldiers mm -hmm. all over the world. Mm -hmm. The thing give me, make me surprised, uh, if only three states 
you cannot you know, tackle the issue of only three states. Mm. And you are boasting that you are going outside country mm. to win battle. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. From this talk where you talk, you never even clear. Say now, action and result. <laughs> now we And we see. see our soldiers are dying every day. Every hey, day too. Hey, hey, hey. Our soldiers dying. Our Ogayai. soldiers dying. Why? Ogayai, thank you very much. Say you carry waka come inside our studio. Uh, we just get belief. Say uh, as government say they go do a more, they must do a. Citizens, very important. Make we continue to they put pressure on government because now we then they work Those for girls. until we see this particular result. And now you get this handshake. I appreciate you. you carry waka come inside studio. Yeah. Our people until we come back again tomorrow uh, to continue to they discuss action when they come out smoke inside Nigeria political boxing ring. Una bye bye. Thank you very much, sir. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.